This is the before and this is the after. Hey everyone, this is Phantom back with another KD Plasma Desktop tutorial and in this video I'll be customizing the KD Plasma Desktop and try to give it a static look. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is download the wallpaper. So let's go to the browser and here I have a wallpaper so you can find the link of this wallpaper down in the description below. So let's just quickly save the wallpaper. Then you can find here different resolutions for your desktop. So you can just choose the resolution for your desktop and just click download. Alright, so once you have downloaded the wallpaper, let's just right click on the desktop and then go to configure desktop and then click on add image and then go to downloads and then just select the wallpaper which is this one so click on open and let's just find the wallpaper here and this is the one so click on apply and click on ok so we are done with the wallpaper now let's just go to the system settings go to global themes and go to get new global themes and here just search for harmony and then scroll down and what you want to do is download this one which is called Harmony Global Theme. So click on install and this will take a few seconds. So just wait for it to install and it's gonna ask for your password in a minute. Alright, so let's just put my password. So after you install the global theme, close it and then select Harmony and then click on apply. Alright, so now let's go to the plugin style and make sure that Harmony is selected. Then go to colors and here also select Harmony. Now let's go to icons and here go to get new icons and I will go with the candy icons. So download that. So now that I have installed the candy icons, so let's just apply that. So click on that and click apply. So I'm done with the icons as well. Now let's get a startup and shutdown. And here I'm gonna select harmony, click on apply, type my password, and that is it. Now let's go to splash screen and here I'll select harmony as well and just close it. Alright guys, so the next thing that I'll do is install a Kvantum theme. So for that go to the browser and here I have a Kvantum theme. You can find the link of this page in the description below. And you can just go to the files here and then just download the zip file and download. Click on save file, click on ok and this will download the Kvantum theme. Now let's go to the downloads directory. So let's go to the downloads directory and then just extract the Harmony Kvantum theme. So I'm gonna select extract archive 2. Click on extract and once I've done that, close it. Now let's go to the software center. Now here what I'm gonna search for is Kvantum and just install the Kvantum manager. Now I have already done that so all you have to do is just click on install and it will install the Kvantum manager and also it will just ask for your password so just type your password click install and it will install the Kvantum manager. Now once I've installed the Kvantum manager let's just search for Kvantum and then just here select a theme folder let's go to downloads and then select harmony the theme that I've just downloaded so click on OK and then just click on install this theme and then go to change or delete theme then choose the harmony here as well so this is the one so like that click on use this theme and there you go so I have applied the harmony Kvantum theme now let's go to the system settings again and this time let's go to the Plasma style uh, not Plasma style let's go to the application style and here I will just select Kvantum Dark, click on apply and that is basically it. Alright now let's go to the window decoration and let's just do some settings here. So let's say maybe move this one, click on apply. Okay so now let's close the downloads directory and go to the file manager again and as you can see that the look of the file manager has changed. So let's just quickly hide this one and this looks alright. Okay, now what I'm going to do is install a Conkey theme. So for that, go to the browser and I have a Conkey theme here. So let's go to the files. You can find this page down in the description below as well. I mean the link of the page. So let's just quickly download the Conkey. Click on download. The file click OK. Alright guys, so once I've downloaded the Conkey theme here, now what I'm going to do is install Conkey. So for that, go to this page 
and uh, this is called uh, noob slab so you can find the page the link of this page down in the description below as well so you can just copy the command here and then go to the terminal and then just paste it over here so this will download the con key so just type the password and this will do the job all right guys so once that is done go to this page again and this time i'm going to copy this command so what this will do is download the startup script so let's just copy and paste and then press enter and i'm going to just copy this command as well so this is to make the script executable so i'm going to just type sudo first and then just paste it then press enter and that is basically it now our work is done here so let's just close this page and this one as well and this one as well actually let's just close the browser now let's go to the file manager and here go to downloads and then this is the con key thing that i have downloaded so i'm gonna just quickly right click and then click on extract and then i'll click on extract archive 2 click on extract all right so this is the con key theme so let's go inside and then go to this directory called rock and here i'll just quickly install this font so i'm gonna just click on install I'll choose system type your password close it right so once I've done that I'll take this file called hermoso RC I'm gonna right click and click on rename and I will rename it to dot conkey RC so this file is gonna be called dot conkey RC click on rename and hide now this file is hidden because i put a dot in front of the name so make it visible just click on this tree line on the right corner of the file manager and then click on show hidden files so this is the dot conkey rc file so i'm going to just quickly copy that one and then just go to the home directory and then just paste it over here so this is the one that i've just copied here all right so our work is done here so let's go to the terminal and then just clear the terminal and then just type conkey and as you can see that the conkey widget is here now it can do some tricking on the widget so let's go to the dot conkey rc file and here i can change the axis maybe make it like 200 and then save it so they should change the position of the conkey now i can do some other settings here so at the bottom you can change the color of the font so as you can see that you can just type any color code here and it, this will change the color of the widget so you can just go to the browser and search for color codes so let's just go to this side html color codes so here i can choose a color maybe like maybe like this one and then just copy this code here so copy that and then go to this dot conkeyrc file and here just delete this one and then just paste it over here so there should be no space just replace the previous code so now save it and let's see what happens so as you can see that the color of the conky widget has changed all right guys so once i'm done with the widget let's just do some settings on the panel here so i'll just right click on the panel actually let's just close the browser and then just right click on the panel and then go to edit panel and i'll make the height a bit smaller and then take it on the left side all right so this will work all right guys so what i'm going to do now is install a doc so let's go to the terminal and here type sudo apt install latte doc type your password so once I've done that, exit the terminal. All right, so let's search for Latte now, and then just run the Latte doc. And here it is. So this is a Latte doc. Now I can do some tweaking on the doc. So I can just right click and go to the dot settings. And here I'm gonna click on rearrange and configure your widgets, and then just remove this analog clock, and then go to advanced. 
and then go to appearance and here I can do some tweaking so let's make it a bit small just some random tweaking so you can you can do the settings to your own preferences so I'll turn down the opacity maybe like this or maybe like this the background like this And I can just put it on the right side. So let's see how it looks. Alright, so this is how the dock looks. So I can just add some more applications on the dock. So let's just quickly add some. So I will just right click and click on pin launcher. And let's see what else what else can i add let's just add some random applications for the sake of this tutorial so click on pin launcher and this will add the application all right guys so as you can see i have added some application on the dock so we are almost done here so let's just unhide this one so yep and uh, i don't like that orientation right now let's just bottom and then this one goes at the top all right guys so there's one more thing that i have to show you and which i've almost forgot and that is to add the startup script of this conkey widget into the startup list so for that let's just search for start and go to auto start and here i'll click on add script and then just search for the dot conkey start script so here i'll just quickly show hidden files and then just select the dot start conkey now don't select the dot conkey rc file just select the dot conkey i mean dot start conkey so click on open and then just click on ok and then i will make it log out here select the option logout and then that is it so so yeah guys that's it thank you for watching i hope this video is helpful and if it was you can give it a like and subscribe i would really appreciate that because i really need your support right now so yeah guys if you want to see more of this customization videos then you can check out my other videos and stay safe stay healthy and i will see you in the next video